Hi everyone, and welcome to Scratch Junior Challenge number seven. Today we're going to take on the task of creating a set um, with a background that will tell us a bit of a story. What I'd like to do you know, with Scratch Junior this time is to develop uh, a story that has starts during the daytime, uh, the sun is going to set, it's then going to change to nighttime, Scratchy the cat's going to do something, and then it's going to switch back to daytime. So we're really, we're changing our setting here. So the first thing you can see on my stage is I've got Scratchy the cat. So what I wanna do is I wanna add in my backgrounds. I think that's the easiest way to start. So I'm gonna come up to the top here. I'm gonna click on my backgrounds and I'm going to choose a park scene. So in my first, um, my first setting is here, it's a park. My second setting, I want it to be nighttime. So just below, I'm going to click on the plus, which is right here. And I am then going to choose another background. And this time, I'd like it to be dark. So I'm going to choose this one here. It's the woods at night. And then I'm going to put Scratchy down and around the same spot. It's just where I want him. And then I'm going to have a third one, which is going to be um, daytime again. So the first thing I've done now is I've got Scratchy there and I've got my backgrounds all together. So I'm going to go back to my first um, stage, my first uh, place, and I'm going to have Scratchy. He's going to get all excited and he's going to be doing some jumping around. So to start for Scratchy's code, I'm going to start when I press the green flag, turn down the volume a little bit because it's really loud, and I'm going to choose my jumping and what I want him to do is I want him to jump several times. Or what I might do is not have him jump several times. Perhaps I'll just have him jump high. That might be a better idea. So instead of a two, I'm going to have him jump seven. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's nice and high, but I want him to jump, as I said, several times. Like he's super excited. He's doing something fun. So I'll have him jump seven times. I'm going to bring in a repeat. And I'm going to have a repeat four times. So just to run my code to see what it looks like, he's going to jump four times and then stop. Beautiful. What I also need is a sun, because I don't have a sun yet. So I'm going to come over to this side, and I'm going to add a sun. So I'm going to come down into my sprites. I know there's a sun here somewhere. There it is. I'm going to add a sun to my page. Fantastic. I'm going to put it about here. I also know um, I want a sun in my third. So I'm going to go to my third stage. I'm just going to add in all the sprites at the same time. Probably makes the most amount of sense that way. So there we go, sun again. And then the night one, I would like a moon. So I'm going to add a moon in there. Okay, and there's my moon. I'm actually going to cover the moon that's sitting there. So I now have all of my backgrounds with my sprites. So what I'd like to happen in this first one, in my uh, first stage, is Scratchy is going to jump several times. Okay, when he's done that, he's going to send a message to the moon, or sorry, to the sun, pardon me, right? So that's why we use this block right here. That's the send that private message. So the sun is then going to take that message and it's going to tell the sun, I want the sun to drop. I want the sun to come all the way down the page like this as though it's setting. Now, if I just come out here and I add in the blocks, to the, go to the right and down, and let's say I make it just say seven and seven, for example, watch what happens to my sun. That's not really how the sun sets, okay? So we wanna to try to make this as realistic as possible. So the way to do that is because Scratchy is sending this orange private message, I want two things to happen at the exact same time. And the way to do that is because he sent an orange message, if I bring two orange envelopes, the message being received, and I have one of them going to the right seven and one of them going down seven, but doing it at the same time, watch what happens. So I'm gonna start on the green flag. Scratchy's gonna jump and watch the sun now. See how it's kind of coming straight down? Now seven wasn't enough. So we're gonna change the number. Let's make it 11 
to repeat, like to start over again, I'm going to press um, the back arrow pair at the top. Let's run it one more time. Beautiful. So the sun's dropped. I think I'm going to make it drop just a tiny bit more. But as the sun drops, I then want the sun to disappear. So as the sun gets to the bottom, I'm going to choose this block right here, which means disappear. So I'm going to add a disappear block right there. So the sun will disappear. And as soon as it does that, because the sun's gone down, it should be dark. I'm going to come up to the top. And I am, well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to my red blocks. And you can see right here, these are neat blocks. Because I now have one, two, three stages on the right, and I'm on stage one right now, here's a block that says go to stage two. You can see the blue two, which is the night stage, or go to stage three. So I'm going to bring down the go to stage two block, and I'm going to click it. So what that means is after the sun is dropped, it's going to go, it's going to turn invisible, and then it's going to automatically turn to stage two. Let's start this. I'm going to run my code so you can see what this looks like. I press the green flag. Oops, sorry, I had a little problem there. So he jumps four times. The sun drops. It disappears. And now it's nighttime. Fantastic. So my first setting has happened. So now Scratchy's over here. It's like he's been jumping all day. He's been jumping so long. Now he's a little bit tired. So if I want this to continue on, because I started my code on the first stage with a green flag, I'm going to go back for a minute. Here's Scratchy. So because I started with a green flag, if I want the code to keep going, when I come to stage two, I have to make sure my code also starts with a green flag. Okay, so I'm going to go on to a cat. So I want Scratchy the cat. Here's what I want Scratchy to do. I want Scratchy to walk forward. Eh, maybe three steps or four steps. And then Scratchy's going to say, he's going to say, I'm tired because he's been jumping for so long. It's now nighttime. And then what I want him to do is I want him to actually lay down and pretend he's sleeping. So he's going to say, I'm tired. Then I'm going to have him turn but I don't know how much I need him to turn yet. So I'm going to click once, twice, three times. That's what I want. So I know this is going to have to be a three. I can also take Scratchy. I can bring this down, and I can set him back up. One, two, three. Now he's back up and put in the garbage just to be able to put him back. So he's then going to lay down, and then he's going to start to snore. So I've put in another talking, and I've just got zed, 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 zed. Okay, so now if I run my code back from the beginning, all I've, okay, before I do that, all I've added here, Scratch is going to start with the green flag, he's going to move ahead three, he's going to say I'm tired, then he's going to lay down, he's going to go to sleep, okay, so let's make sure that works, click on the flag, I'm tired, lays down, perfect, at that point, I want the moon to start to come down so he sleeps overnight, so to do that, I need to send a message to the moon to let the moon know that we are done. So that message, here it is right here, but it can't be orange because I already used orange. So I'm gonna make it red. That means for the moon to start, it has to start with red. But I'm gonna want two of them just like I did for the sun. Red again, and I want it to, I'm gonna say, let's go forward eight and then to move down eight so it'll move at a diagonal level okay so let's check it out let's run the code there he goes he says i'm tired he lays down and the moon starts to drop beautiful now eight wasn't quite enough so i'm just going to add a little bit more to this i'm going to up the number to say 11 and perhaps 10 and i think that's probably good and then when that's done i want it to disappear okay what it will do then is I want it to now switch to my third stage. And here's my third stage. So to do that, I'm going to go to my red block, and I'm going to add the third stage. Here is your task now. I want you to then go to the third stage after you've created this, and I want you to fill it in. So what is Scratchy going to do now that it's daytime? I'm going to go back and review my code for just a moment. Go back to my first stage. 
Everything starts with Scratchy the cat, and he's doing something. In this case, I had him jump. You can have him do something different. I went with jump. Then he sent a message to the sun, and the sun decided that it was going to drop because the day was, you know, it was getting later in the day. So I had to have two envelopes so it moved diagonally as it dropped. I then made the sun disappear, and then we switch to stage number two. Stage number two started with Scratchy the cat. Because it's a green flag, he will start moving. He says he's tired, and then he sends a message to the full moon. The moon drops, and it moves to number three. Just so you can see this in action, we're going to go back to the very first. I need to bring my sun back. There it is. And here we go. I'm going to run my code. So press the green flag. Fantastic. Love that, how the, the characters are moving, and then it moves from stage to stage. So be creative. Add as much into this as you would like, but in the beginning, just so it's essentially like we're telling a story, we've got part one, part two, part three, I would like you developing a story with your code in that way. Thanks and good luck with this Scratch Challenge number seven. Bye for now.